Alright, so looks like we might have an issue with this uh, compressor. Uh, I connected my suction gauge and it was pretty high, almost 70 psi. This is a medium temp R22 uh, cooler. Usually you want 10 to 15 degree uh, TD on your evaporator versus your room. So say you want a 40 degree room, you have a 30, 35 degree foil. You'll have a 25 or a 30 degree evaporator. So this one's running a little bit high. Check my head pressure. It's also running pretty low. Uh, usually I roughly do 20 to 25 TV above the ambient. So my high side should be about 20 degrees above my outdoor temp saturation wise I have 230 psi on my high side right now so I think one of my valves is bad I pumped it down my suction pressure stayed the same so I'm thinking it's my uh, discharge valve inside the compressor so another test I can do before I open the heads is I can disconnect my fans Turn on the unit, just keep in mind that you need to shut off your unit if it reaches above, you know, 350, 400. Uh, basically, if you have a bad discharge valve, your head pressure will rise a little bit, but it won't go much higher. So I can, uh, I'll test that right now and see if that's the case here. Also, my uh, amperage is low based on Emerson has a Copeland app, which is uh, you into your suction pressure, high side pressure, your amperage, and it'll give you your variation on how far uh, based on the performance charts. So it's saying that my amperage is low, so let me shut this off and disconnect the fan motor and see how I'll see what our head pressure gets to. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off and probably pull the heads and see what's going on. Probably more likely a broken discharge reed. Let's see if my pressure just comes back to normal. So when popping the head off of a compressor, Obviously, make sure you bleed the pressure. Always leave two bolts on opposite ends and slowly kind of uh, just break the seal and then lift it slowly so you make sure there's no pressure underneath because I've heard of these things going fine and they can cause some damage. Let's see if I can lift it up with one hand. I'm not that strong, so let me, uh, might have to take these bolts off, and, uh, let's see what we find. So, sure enough, it looks like we have, um, part of a discharge valve right there. It looks like we have copper plate, and also from not pulling a proper vacuum, I'll probably just take the whole head off, so I can take the valve plate off. We'll take a look at it. All right, let's see what we got. For sure, some copper plating from acid. Like I said earlier, don't pull a vacuum. Moisture in the system creates acid. Acid eats at the inside of the copper, and it'll end up in all sorts of places you don't want it. So. Uh, 
put it off. damaged. Check out the valves. This was, uh, these are your discharge valves. They're all loose. Suction valves broken. At this point, I'll probably, instead of just changing the valve plate, I'll probably recommend replacing the compressor due to the damage uh, and the copper plating on the cylinder walls and the pistons. Shunt missing from the corner of the compressor. I mean the piston, sorry. walls have like I said copper plating so I need compressor time